haven't seen you for ages. I am so sorry I have not done a video. I have just been so busy that I don't know my ass from my elbow. I have literally been pulling 15, 17 hour days. Um, my day job has completely taken over my life. I'm literally so busy that I'll be sitting at work begging the other team members to like go to the toilet for me. I'll be like, oh my God, can you go pee for me? Just half a cup. But I haven't forgotten you and I'm and I and I do want to do videos and I can't because it's really hard and and I'm just too damn busy. I was looking back over my my trip and I thought, oh I can do a video from when I was in England and so now I'm trying to edit that together because that's just some footage that I already had and oh, oh it's so difficult. I just wanted to say that um I love my subscribers. You are just so freaking awesome. And I love it when you comment and you chat to me because it just makes this all worthwhile. Um, from a life perspective, where am I sitting at? I am sitting in the land of, I did the HRT, came off the HRT. I put on 2.5 kilos on the HRT. So kind of freaked out a little bit about that. Um, have now moved to an estradot. Um, I have to stick that on every two or three days. Um, I have to admit that the hot flushes and all of that stuff totally reduced on the tablets. I am kind of getting the hot flashes back with the uh, estradot. Not as much, they're not as crazy as they were. It's not great. So I was told to move on to the estradot because apparently it's less harmful to your liver. I assume that drinking alcohol is also <laughs> not too good for your liver. So probably should stop doing that as well. Sorry I'm doing the makeup thing, but it's the only time that I got to talk to you. Ah! And I can't see very well because I haven't got my glasses on, of course. So it's a miserable day here in New Zealand and I'm supposed to be at work already, but I'm getting a new iPhone. So I've kind of stayed at home so that I can go and pick it up because it was delivered to my house yesterday, but I was not at home. So I got to go down and collect it. Anyway, I just wanted this to be like a tiny short video to just say, hello, my darlings, I love you. I love you so much. Comment below and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you again when I got some brains. I got no brains because I just working. Like Christmas is literally in a minute. Like, have you done your Christmas shopping? I went and did my Christmas shopping on the weekend. Well, I thought if I don't do it now, then Christmas day is gonna go mad. And nobody's gonna have any presents. And that would not be a good look. So I went and did my Christmas shopping on the weekend. It's not too crazy in the malls yet. People haven't turned into psycho shoppers yet. People have turned into psycho car park drivers though. You know, you drive into the car park, you're walking through the car park and some asshole just comes around the bloody corner because obviously they're in such a hurry. It's like, it's a car park, slow down. So I've organized my Christmas shopping. I'm not entirely sure what to get my teenage boy. He's 14. What are you getting your teenage boys for Christmas? Everything's so expensive. Gone are the days. My mum, my mum never wrapped our Christmas gifts. On Christmas um, Eve, because we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So my mum would lock down the lounge so we couldn't get in the lounge. So it, the, it was so intense because it was just so exciting because we couldn't get into the Christmas room. And then at about six o'clock on Christmas Eve, she would ring 
this little Christmas bell. Oh my God, it was so exciting. And then we would go into the Christmas room. And the Christmas room um, consisted of just the most magical place on earth. Kind of Disney, but in our house, no. <laughs> um, it would be um, really dark there, because this is in England, of course, because now I'm in New Zealand. I black out the curtains. I black out all the windows so that at least it's dark. Um, walk into the Christmas room, there'd be a beautiful Christmas tree with candles and little bowls full of treats. And she would, my brother and I would each get a chair with our Christmas gifts on. And God, I hope my mum doesn't watch this. But what would happen is, is that you'd walk into the room, you'd spot your chair and you'd go zhung zhung and you'd see all your presents and you'd be like, it's either a good Christmas or a bad Christmas. That quick, because she wouldn't wrap anything. So you'd, you'd know everything in a, in a second. Whereas I tend to wrap all of my gifts uh, for uh, uh, here because you don't know what's inside, so you've got to get excited. And I also do cheeky things where I'll get a, a tiny little present and wrap it in a big box. I know that's really messed up, isn't it? That's the kind of girl I am. Don't even know how I got into the Christmas conversation. Tell me your Christmas stories. How do you do it? What do you do? Um, we are actually going to be spending Christmas with um, my husband's family this year. And it's going to be weird because I'm going to do a Christmas which will be like a Christmas morning. I'm assuming that they get up early on Christmas morning. I'm sure everybody does that. But um, because we do Christmas on Christmas Eve, we get to do the party on Christmas Eve, and then we get to sleep in on Christmas Day. That is the way to do it, people. Not this, oh, let's get up at six o'clock in the morning to open our present thing. I'm not a morning person. Okay, look. I've got to clean my teeth. You don't really want to see that. So, love you. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Like my video, please. Um, leave me a comment, because I want to hear from you. And I love my subscribers. I love you. You're amazing. I'll catch you soon. See you. Bye.